When you're using ChatGPT, sometimes we find that it has a very big opening and it just takes a lot of time to actually get to the point. So I'm going to show you a couple keywords you can use to get right to the point. In this example, I said build me a web scraping service. And instead of building it in Python here, it had a whole thing here where it gives a whole outline. And sometimes we don't want that. So I'm going to show you how you can get effective in your prompts. But first, let me just show you a quick video from Justin Feinberg as he does a great job explaining this part. This is a controversial but amazing ChatGPT prompt hack. It's only two words, and I can assure you, you've never heard a ChatGPT prompt like this one. I've honestly been using it daily with ChatGPT. And the two special words are no yapping. I know it sounds insane, but check out how much better the responses are when you include no yapping in your ChatGPT prompts. So in this example, I'm using ChatGPT to help me get recommendations for affiliate program software for my company, Cassidy AI. So I asked ChatGPT for the recommendations and I don't include the magic words. So you can see when it responds, it gives me a whole lot of nonsense. It's all these steps and objectives and things I should consider, but I'm just looking for a straight answer. But now if I prompt it again and I say no yapping, it gives me exactly what I was looking for. It doesn't include all the ChatGPT nonsense. If you've been using ChatGPT for a while, you know it loves to talk. But I found that if you say no yapping to ChatGPT at the end of the prompt, it gets to the answer much faster. It might not be the nicest thing to say to AI, but it sure works. I'll keep sharing the best ChatGPT prompts you've never heard of, so follow along. He makes great videos. I'll link them down below. And going over here, I'll show you something that I've learned and different words that I have also used. So here, the Python program above, I asked it for how it works, and it, it takes a long time to get to the point. It's a lot of explanation. But what I use instead is I go be concise, colon, and then my question. By doing this, I find that when I'm really trying to learn a concept, it's just right to the point. And then another alternative is no yapping, like he said, but I found be concise gives the best results. So if you like this video, I just do quick videos educating people on AI. So feel free to like and subscribe, and let me know you're going to see next.